Digital Services. It's a name that stands for excellence. Digital Services is a global presence, leading the world in expertise, resources, and innovation. Our core philosophy? Do whatever it takes to make our customers successful. And decades of close relationships with digital customers all over the world prove we're doing it right. One of the key differentiators that our clients have looked at us for for the last 20 years, all of them, has been our services organization. Services has helped digital be successful by uh, providing the solution. That's really the bottom line of it. The service part of digital has always been a competitive advantage for the company. Everybody's got products, but it's the services that make the difference. Desire, pride, creativity, spirit, and the confidence to be innovative, to own the solution. These are the marks of the digital services professional. In 40 years, we've evolved into a multi-billion dollar organization with worldwide reach and capabilities. Leaders in the fastest growing sector in the IT industry. We've come a long way, but where did it all begin? Let's turn the clock around and take a look back, 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 back. In 1957, the era of Elvis and Eisenhower, digital opens for business in the mill complex, Maynard, Massachusetts. In the first full year of operations, making laboratory and system modules, the 60 employees of digital generated $94,000 in revenue. Remember in 1960, the PDP-1, the first small interactive computer. The world hasn't been the same since. In those early years, service is an informal function. Often it's the design or manufacturing engineer who provides on-site support for digital's technical and scientific customers. Field service grows naturally out of product validation, installation, and the need for parts and engineering advice. Service people start out in long time ago in very small operations, one or two or three people, significant dependencies on each other to, to do their job. There wasn't anybody else to call, you had to take care of each other, you support each other, so they became a family, they became related to each other. Many people seem to give credit to Ken for inventing products. That's not where Ken's genius lay. His genius lay in creating a company that could grow at 40 to 50 percent a year because the people in it felt empowered. Nineteen sixty-five, the Beatles reign supreme, and digital changes the shape of the playing field with a revolutionary PDP-8. There's a growing need for service as an organized function, and digital responds to the demands of a changing business. Business changed over a period of many years from getting the fastest, most exciting thing out to. Um, supplying all the discipline necessary to make sure it worked forever. In the beginning, the people who worked with computers were considered magicians. Abracadabra! But digital took the mystery out of computers. It was in 1968 that such a successful year for the fledgling company that the employment of DEC increased by 68% to 2,600 professionals, including 360 field engineers. It was very, very important in those days to focus on the quality of the service we delivered. There was a great emphasis on integrity. The company also had a high priority placed on customer and employee satisfaction. Woodstock is a recent memory. And in 1970, the PDP-11 raises the bar dramatically for services. Customers demand more support and faster response time. And digital services people are now trained to operate in the field, ready and able to pursue customer issues immediately and decisively, no matter where, no matter when. It's 
not uncommon for me to drive uh, 350 to 400 miles in any given day and spend eight to 10 hours in the car on some days. We did uh, whatever it needed to be done to solve a customer's problem. I can remember on Christmas Day, uh, myself and a number of other people on site, working the issues, trying to get the customer back up and running. And that just kind of explains the kind of the spirit that existed back then. The service organization has always been characterized by people who have enjoyed hard work, enjoyed a challenge, and really, in essence, have made a, a, a profession out of adversity. 1977, disco sweeps the world, and the VAX 11780 advances digital's vision of distributed, interactive computing. Key to that vision is computers talking to computers. By now, digital has become an established leader in networking, the same year the industry's first remote diagnosis center opens in Colorado Springs. It was industry breakthrough. It was. Uh, an effective means of delivering services to customers regardless of where they they lived across the country and around the world in providing support services. We can dial remotely into those systems and diagnose the, any hardware problems or can download software patches. Just a very exciting phenomenal concept that I, I think it has made us the industry leader. These centers are critical to digital's ability to meet its customer needs. We're able to literally reach out and touch our customers' systems through these centers, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Good afternoon, Digital Health Service Show. So the customer should see it as one-stop shopping. You just call this number and, uh, and you get help. In the 80s, global priorities loom large. It's a world of planet-wide networked systems and international accounts. As technology becomes increasingly sophisticated, digital's hardware and software service functions join forces as customer services to deliver unified, seamless support. It's increasingly more difficult for the customer to differentiate software service and hardware service, but rather what the customer sees is a total solution provided by digital. For digital and its customers, the future lies increasingly in total solutions. It's a future in which designing and maintaining multi-vendor networked systems will become the leading edge. Services with proven network expertise is now recognized as a major factor in digital's overall success. It appears that everyone is starting to understand how to make bigger and faster and better pieces of hardware, uh, where the real differentiator starts to come in is in your software and in your overall service package that you give to a customer. Field service is a changing business. We are no longer uh, a repair mentality, a toolkit service. We're a customer service. We are a customer support service. Well, you remember how they helped us in manufacturing. They solve problems and they have the best product to do it with. We're opening a plant in Germany. With digital, we can network the whole company. They do 50% of their business overseas. This is a Fortune 100 company with an incredible support team. Sounds to me like you really recommend digital. Well, Sam, I guess you'll just have to draw your own conclusions. 1984, MTV launches the music video, and within digital services, a new quarterly video, Field Service Magazine, captures the spirit of the time. Hello. Welcome to Field Service Magazine. I bought the computer, got the thing set up. It wasn't working right. I called the toll-free number. We ran through some tests. Uh, he told me that I had a defective B drive, and I just went dead on the phone. I said, well, that's great. I just got this new computer, and it ain't working. And he says, well, settle down. Well, you know, you're under warranty, and we'll, we'll get it covered. And I laughed at him on the phone. I said, well, you don't have any idea where I'm at. You're going to send somebody out here? And he says, yeah. We're digital. We stand behind our product, and sometimes we got to go out of our way to service it. I wanted to write a letter to the president of the corporation or, or some big wig out there and tell him uh, I was awfully satisfied with his service and that they kind of blew me away on the response and uh, the work that they did. Mr. Olson, thanks for having such a good company and good people. We'd sure be honored to be of service to you at any time if you ever want hunting, fishing or camping. 
Now that's the sound of customer satisfaction. But for field service, all in a day's work. The QE2 sails into Boston Harbor in 1987 to kick off Deck World, the largest trade show ever put on by one company. It's the high water mark of digital's history as a corporation and draws worldwide media attention. Behind the scenes, Services takes on the formidable role of designing and constructing the computing environment in 90 days. A little bit like a circus with the tents all going up at this point. Someone used another analogy, it's like building a facility from scratch in six weeks. We can use this as an objective example of here's what digital did for itself as its own customer. Everyone in an organization should be part of the computing system. It should cover the whole world of the company. And uh, those who come here today see just why we say this. The big idea was that we could invite all of our customers and sales force to come together and in an environment that was rich in digital capability and product. We were all working towards a common goal and a vision, and it was to celebrate uh, digital as um, the best in the business. It's a far cry from the early days. Customers in the 90s still need 24 by 7 support, but the typical service professional no longer carries a toolbox. Services, the add-on of the 60s, has reinvented itself, moving from proprietary digital platforms to a total solutions environment, embracing the full spectrum of multi-vendor customer systems. With the new role comes a new name. Customer services is now multi-vendor customer services. We're no longer talking about field service, the break-fix syndrome, but in fact, total support for our customers' computing environment. Digital technology supports the America's Cup in 1992, and the Alpha Chip is announced. It's the coming of age of internet and enterprise computing, and Services is now designing and maintaining global systems. Today, digital is widely regarded as one of the premier service providers in this industry, but we clearly don't take our capabilities for granted. And with that recognition comes higher expectations of our customers. When Computer Associates looks for a business partner, we look for worldwide capabilities. We look for trained professionals. We look for quality solutions. We found that in digital. In fact, with the millennium approaching, it is service that often leads the sale. And digital worldwide services is seen as best in class. It's three component organizations recognized as excellent providers of integrated lifecycle multi-vendor solutions. Again and again, their proven vision and capabilities have led to profitable business decisions and provided solutions that are more crucial than ever to their customers' success. Services is going to play a real leadership role, particularly in some of these key application areas like mail and messaging, where we've seen examples of where you can lead with services and, and, and establish presence in accounts that digital never had before. Uh, we sell a lot more than products and services. We sell corporate agility. We sell processes for change. Um, we represent um, the highest level of a strategic partnership with their customers. Uh, we don't help them do things. We do them for them. We do them with them. What we are doing in terms of a strategy for uh, the, the network and systems integration services business is, is, uh, is focused go-to-market strategies. I was with a customer about three weeks ago, and he said, what's the most important product you have? And I said, services. And it sort of set him back. He just expected a technology answer. 1998, merging with Compaq. Services is the leading edge in a win-win partnership that has both companies poised and ready for a future of new growth. Today is another historic moment for Compaq. We're laying the cornerstone for a new world of computing. Services will also be a significant driver of growth for Compaq. Customers want the assurance that when they implement a complex enterprise solution, they will have the support they need to get it done quickly and efficiently. 
This announcement brings together the service skills and experience of digital, tandem, and compact to establish a powerful new breed of IT service provider. One that will drive unprecedented growth for compact and one that will create exciting and challenging new opportunities for service professionals to grow and develop and to work with global customers in major industries around the world. We're taking uh, probably the, one of the premier service organizations in the world and we're mirroring it with the uh, number one PC manufacturer in the world and I think the, the opportunities again become endless. Today, Compaq Services sets the gold standard around the planet and we've earned that status through the expertise and reliability of our people. There are a lot of good people here who have the ability, the skills, as well as the, the desire to move forward. This will be a good impetus, a new beginning if you will. I think that Compact is the kind of company that we were. I don't think we should ever let go of the good things that we experienced at Digital, the great feelings that we had. In fact, we should try to find ways to keep that spirit and that part of the culture alive. The culture that really did value the individual. I think that's how we can enrich contact. Uh, and then in the same breath, it's, it's almost sound like a paradox, we, we have to be able to let some other things go about Digital and be able to embrace the good things that we're going to find in an organization like Compact. I talk to them, I can see the glimmer in their eyes that they are convinced that they can achieve all the, the things they want to do. Together, the people of Compaq and Digital Services will continue to find a way to exceed expectations. We've built a heritage that will open new vistas of success for Compaq and will continue to win in the new world of computing. There is an enormous pride in being in the services organization. The work that we do here has, has set the industry standard. It's work that uh, many of our competitors are seeking to emulate. And uh, that certainly demonstrates our leadership role and uh, I'm proud to be a member of that team. Compaq Services, a world-class organization and still evolving to satisfy our customers' needs this century and beyond.